So what? You embarrassed? NCPD! Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. Hey, yo, V! Exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi program. So. Mm. Man of the hour! <laughs> Sheesh! Took you long enough! Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. There's just something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, is he? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, adios. Oye, you know. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. 
Find me one's fixed on dust. How's that one? Not the masters of your memories. For your eyes do not belong to you. Rather, hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Vicky, surprise every. The old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. 
Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav horn. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this... Prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship, built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? 
Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally at nine, yeah. Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands yeah. just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> she gone. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? 
Ride around in his limo, check chicks up on the hollow. Hey, can't you see me? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sling around. Hasta luego. to go all nearby units we got a situation in watson roger dispatch what else is new we'll be right there now we can talk go ahead been wondering this heist heralding in the triumphant return of Dex Deshawn to the fixer's table? <laughs> Gotta admit, a few years from my seat has left me with a bit of an appetite. So you come dropping in with a bang? Deshawn ain't just a name, it's a brand. About time my clientele remember who they do biz with. But you got my word, you don't disappoint, you'll get your cut. With interest. Best get back to work. Be in touch. You misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Ah, there you are. Nuh uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be... Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me?! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. 
Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? <laughs> yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep, now. Now listen, Close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! The cup's already good as dead! But she'll take you down with her! Porfin. Let me hear what you squared away. Sedex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ijone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'd be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. Talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah, 
gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. <laughs> Called him special. Model MT0 D12. Call the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. For you too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. See your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but. Shit. Well, alright. Come on, got to lighten up. Take a hit. Thanks, I'm good. <sighs> Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Free. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Asked you a question. Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice, because I say you'll pay twice. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. I'm Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshawn. That's who. Dexter Deshawn. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you gonna consider my offer now? Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 
You short sir! Spreads on this. <sighs> hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! They're breaking in! Zero! I won! Unload on them, B! Cut low! Ah. Where'd they go, on? Shit! Shit, shit! Ugh. I'm empty! Need to reload! Grab the gear. Bot and control shard. Quick! Gotta find a way out of here. Got the set. Bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. Now let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. Everything's out good. Best to get back to work then. Be a touch. Ladies and gentlemen, Maggie's Jackie Wears!
didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Gunnar. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the military? Sure, of course there was trouble. Boys couldn't have given two shits and you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. One thing Stout forgot to mention. Chip was carrying a virus. Oldest corpo trick in the book. I assume Roy's was less than understanding. Virus attacked their systems, scorched a handful of maelstromers. I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Mr. V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker'll be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 